Welcome to this channel. In this particular tutorial, we will try to determine the RMS noise voltage. For more such videos on the LT Spice tutorial, I request you to like, share and subscribe to my channel below. Now, let us start the circuit simulation by opening a new schematic window and now click on to this component and select the voltage source which is V1 and place this particular voltage source on the schematic window. Now right click onto this voltage source and click on advanced and define the small signal AC analysis amplitude as 1 volt. Now right click on this V1 and determine or change this as V in. Next we require a resistor and a capacitor element. So click on resistor. So place this particular resistor right click on this resistor and define the value as 10 kilo ohm and click on capacitor and place this particular capacitor on the schematic window. Now right click on to this capacitor and define the value of capacitance as 1 pico farad and click OK. Now we have to place a ground connection. So place the ground connection across the voltage source and the capacitor. Now click on wire, connect the negative terminal of the voltage source to the ground and the positive terminal of the voltage source to the resistor and the resistor is connected to the capacitor C1 and the capacitor is connected to the ground. Now click on label net and define this as 1. Next we have to do the analysis for this particular circuit. So click on edit and click on spice analysis. Select the noise. Define the output as V bracket V out comma 0 and close this particular bracket. Now the input will be V in and type of sweep will be decade. The number of points will be 100. The start frequency will be 1 and stop frequency will be 1 giga and click OK and place this particular spice analysis on the schematic window. Now we have to analyze this particular circuit. So we have to determine the V out. So click on label and type V out and place this on the wire which is between the resistor R1 and capacitor C1. Next simulate this. So save this particular circuit. So run this particular simulation and place the probe across the V out. So now you can see the RMS value of thermal noise in this circuit and it is limited by a size of a capacitor and independent of size of a resistor. The KT over Qi noise is frequently used to determine the size of capacitors used in filtering or sampling circuit. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped your learning purpose. I request you to like, share and subscribe my channel below.